Welcome to the last video uh, for lesson 4.1. So uh, I've, instead of having one long video, I broke it up into three short ones. So I'll just put on here uh, 4.1. I think this is page 8 of the booklet. And uh, you should check your booklet because it may have changed a little bit from what you have. You'll notice I've got uh, exercise 1 and 2, and there's three different questions on there. Uh, your booklet might be looking like that where it only has a single example and it says example number three on it so if it looks different you might want to hit pause and kind of copy those things out uh, all right so um, there is one formula here and really in our course this is the first formula isn't it in our that we've had it is on the provincial formula sheet so you do not have to memorize it uh, it's it's there it's the first one it's to the top left hand side of the page and uh, you probably already have that formula sheet handed to you and so you do not have to memorize it but you will have to be able to use it so what do the each of these things mean s is going to be the arc length uh, subtended by an angle boy that's a crazy word subtended it kind of just means uh, created I'm gonna try my darndest here to make an actual circle hey that's not bad uh, I think maybe another color would be good so if I put the dot in the center so here is the positive x-axis so that's usually where we consider our initial arm to be starting and so if there is some angle created so okay there will be my angle and I'll label my angle theta so there is my angle so it goes that amount there um, the arc that is created by that angle on the circle I'll make it in red would be this part here so this would be the arc kind of like the licorice in our classroom activity so this part here would be s okay so the length of this curved line and I know it's curved but the length of that that's s in this formula uh, here's theta and notice that the theta must be in radians okay and the last part this is our r so that's what the diagram would look like um, so it's a fairly straightforward formula the only thing to watch out for is that if you're given the angle in degrees you should switch it to radians first and the other thing I guess to take note of is whatever units that the radius is in say centimeters this arc length also has to be in the same units so you might have to change the the units to make them agree let's try the examples it says here um, determine the arc length subtended so subtended is another just word that means created by each central angle give the answers to the nearest hundredths okay so if I write s is equal to theta r the radius is 9.5 and the central angle is 1.4 so I just write 1.4 times 9.5 uh, it might feel kind of strange that it just says 1.4 it doesn't say degrees here so this means radians okay so again if it doesn't have units uh, written that means it's in radians uh, 1.4 multiplied by 9.5 is a 13.3 uh, be sure to put units right so the, this is going to be uh, in centimeters bingo done okay so uh, just to go back over here 1.4 radians well you'll remember that it's 2 pi all the way around 2 pi is 6.28 right uh, so halfway would be 3.14 would be pi so this is 1.4 so it'd be probably a little bit bigger than what my angle was but it would still be in the first quadrant all right so they're saying let's just see if this kind of makes sense if this is 9.5 if this length here is 9.5 then this angle here is going to be 13.3 so if my angle was a bit bigger say it was more like about like that right then the red line would extend all the way to there kind of makes sense doesn't it uh, let's try the second one uh, I'll write s equals theta r and now the radius is 7 and but the central angle is 130 degrees so I need to change that 130 degrees into radians right so I'll go okay 130 degrees uh, multiplied by and now remember that 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees so pi is equal to 180 degrees I want to get rid of degrees so I'll put my 180 degrees in the denominator I'll put my pi in the numerator there so th since these two are equal to 1 like pi is equal to 180 so something divided by itself is equal to 1 here's how we do this and I think what I'm going to do here I'll just cancel out uh, divide by 10 and I'll just say 13 
pi over 18. It's better to leave this in exact values now and not round it off and then put in a rounded value into your equation. So what I'm going to do here is I'll say s is equal to 13 pi over 18 multiplied by the radius which was 7. Okay, and then do this all at once in your calculator. So once again, if you found this as a decimal equivalent and then you rounded it off and then put it in here and then rounded it off a second time you might actually your rounding of a rounded off number might lead to a, a significant error and because they want to the nearest hundredth perhaps you'd be off by a hundredth or something so when I t type this in I get uh, 15.582 and so on rounded off to the nearest hundredth uh, I'm gonna keep that 8 the way it is so I will just drop the 2 uh, get my eraser out here and I'll say okay so then there I can drop the two. Alright we're uh, almost done. Let's take a look at our last example here. Uh, a bicycle tire has a radius of 0 0.5 and travels a distance of 0 point or 1.5 meters. Okay well I'm going to try to draw. Alright so there there's my bicycle and it has a radius here of a 0 0.5 there's my radius, okay, and it travels 1.5 meters, so about three of those. So if it started here, it's going to go one, two, three of those, right? So at the end, after it's finished moving, it will end up something like that over there, right? This uh, spot here will have turned, won't it? I guess it's going to be moving um, clockwise, right? So it'll have moved... Uh, three kind of radius will have turned, right? It'll have turned a fair bit. So perhaps now it'll be about over there, okay? It'll be moved. So maybe it started here, right? And it ended over there. So we have to figure out what this angle is going to be. Does that make sense? So from if here to here is equal to 1.5 meters, that means, and I'll switch to red here, that means that this length here will equal to 1.5 meters. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of think um, perhaps there was uh, wet paint on the uh, wheel and it left a line 1.5 meters long, right? So that 1.5 meters got uh, put on here, um, if that kind of works for you. So there's 1.5 meters and we have to figure out uh, what the angle is. So we have to figure out what is this theta inside of here. So we'll get our s is equal to theta r. In questions like this then remember that this distance 1.5 was from the arc, right? This is the s value. So I'm going to say 1.5 is equal to theta r. Uh, oh, so what is r? r is 0 0.5. So I may as well change that to 0 0.5. Okay, at this point we divide both sides by 1.5, or 0 0.5, pardon me. So I get uh, theta is equal to 3. Now this is in radians, and I want to do the answer in degrees. So I'm going to multiply by, all right, and now I'll, instead of pi over 180, I want to do, because I want my answer to come out in degrees, I'll put the degrees in the numerator uh, like this. So I get 3 times 180 divided by pi, or degrees, divided by pi. Uh, and I think that they, it doesn't say whether or not to do exact value or not, right? So if it was an exact value, it would be 540 degrees over pi. But if they said round it off, then we would type in the values, and I guess it would be, uh, 171.89 would be to the nearest hundredth, right? So this would be the exact value version, 540 degrees divided by pi, and this is rounded off to the nearest hundredth. The other thing I should mention is that uh, S equals theta times R is the way that this worksheet uh, Use, uh, describes this equation and this is also the way that the provincial exam formula sheet uses s equals theta r the textbook uh, uses a equals theta r 
So A means the same thing as S. Is that arc length? Okay, R is the radius, theta is the angle in degrees, A is the arc length for the textbook version, S for our version, and for the provincial exam version. All right, so I hope you uh, have learned that. I hope that works for you. Here is the homework from that part of the textbook. Thank you.